Hello guys, this is Coach Angel Beck. Welcome again to my channel. And today we are gonna do another discussion, but not a bag. Instead, it's gonna be a watch. Okay, one of iconic watch. This is the premier original Chanel watch. Okay, we are gonna talk about this watch, the history, and more about this information of this watch. But before that, guys, um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And don't forget to follow me with my other platform. Anyway, so we are going to start now. So this uh, this, this watch <laughs> is very iconic and vintage. Okay, so until now, it's still in the market and Chanel didn't discontinue it. Instead, they ramp it up and added more stuff in it and added more style. Okay, so you have more option um, with this with this iconic watch and you can get it on their website you don't have to go and wait for you know wait for the list and and so forth just like unlike with their bags okay but this one you can get this on online chanel website so let's talk about this and let's uh, i'm gonna open this for you so as you see guys this is quartz okay and this is 24 karat uh, 24 karat gold plated because this is the vintage one and vintage one before they are using the 24 karat gold okay unlike now they're using only a metal and uh, you know different material unlike before they discontinued the 24 karat gold when it um since 2008 all right and so they used also uh leather black leather lamb uh, lambskin leather woven interlock just like their chanel bags the iconic bags okay now also the style here guys octagon style they copied the the design the cap of their chanel number no. five perfume bottle and that perfume bottle is based inspired in place vendome in Paris where Chanel called home okay so that's how it is it's it's amazing how it how how she got that idea it's so cool right anyway so here's the the lock here guys so this lock is so unique okay so you the clasp there okay open now you see guys um there's a like line here see that one you have to take that off so that you can remove this one here there okay all right so also guys inside of this inside of the hardware you're gonna see a lot of information there too that's part of Thing that you need to check when you buy this watch if you want to buy it on a vintage market because you can buy this on a website but different it's not vintage anymore so different material uh different quality so they're both have this has a cons and pros vintage versus the latest one in terms of quartz versus swiss um so this is quartz the vintage they're using quartz the latest they're using swiss okay now at the back here guys another part that you will know that is vintage is because they have assigned their 1987 this part here 1987 and then the date uh, the, and then the serial code is here on the center here um, in this part here that's the serial code there it's kind of thin okay it's us it's us 49412 okay the thing about the watch of chanel they have a serial number but don't have a style and reference number unlike the chanel bags Okay, so if, like me, I was looking 
you know about the us what's the code meaning of that there's another person have this and the code is ej and different number but there's no reference what year is that or but the only time that you will know that this is vintage is the vintage they use 1987 here and the and different designs here the code is different i mean you know the 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 you will know 1987 here and the markings is different compared to the latest one. Latest Chanel don't have 1987. It's kind of much more plain compared to the old ones. Okay? Also, they said the strap is much more thinner and much more precise. It's different than now. There's a little bit changes, but not much. Okay? But the material and how they make it is kind of different. Okay? Now, also, guys, another factor you need to consider here is the sizing. There's L here, means large, okay? There's a small, a medium. So, I think mine, I should have got a small because mine is so, so loose, okay? So, I'm not sure about if you can remove the chain link or change it because that's kind of hard because you have, you have to cut it and stuff like that. So, you really have to get one that based on your sizing, you know, based on your based on your proper size okay so like that i'm kind of very loose okay so of course this watch was created in 1987 under the artistic direction or uh, artistic director jacques helu or helu depends on how you pronounce it i'm not i'm not french okay and um until now it's it's still in production again different some a lot of different style different pricing material and now speaking of pricing guys now it's the pricing you know as you know even the bags it, it, the pricing of chanel is going high and high and high before 1987 it was less than a thousand dollars but still expensive that time now this style just this style this 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 leather strap and they use now steel and kind of gold plated steel or whatever um is runs the basic style is five thousand grand now the other style which is also the same almost this uh the same design but they added more stuffs i mean you know it, it until will runs 10 grand okay so this watch five thousand to ten thousand grand ten thousand plus or more okay again depends on the style okay and depends on its you know what's included on that watch okay or material okay but again every year chanel increased the price now of course one of the changes they made on this watch is before vintage time 1987 it was quartz okay this is quartz okay this is quartz now they use swiss the difference is quartz before quartz is low maintenance um battery operated Okay, so I have to change the battery on this once in a while. So far, it's still running, okay? Um, but a lot of people who are into um, watch industry, they, they don't like um, the quartz because the quality or um, the standard is not there, okay? They prefer Swiss. Swiss is much more the standard. They have, for you to be called Swiss, they have to check every mechanical of the watch, every detail, and then they have to stamp it you know switzerland you know so that it's assurance that it's really really good quality um and mostly the swiss watch doesn't is doesn't need a battery it's not you know it's just it 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 runs or it recharge every time it's moved okay every time your hand moves just like rolex now also guys you have to be careful with fake ones on this because there's a, some fake selling this but it's a good fake you never know that is it you never know that it's fake because it, it's really good copy unless you look at how the engraving especially this chanel some fake the fake ones is along the, the the print of the font is elongated compared to the original one the original one is kind of short and a little bit stocky okay also um here some they don't have that sign l sign there as you know sign of large or medium also the markings of the hardware is different and also the back here is different but again, the latest Chanel watch also designed differently at the back. But you'll know. You just have to be aware more on the font. Because usually they messed up with the font. 
So guys, if you're curious where I got this watch, I purchased it from a Japan seller. Um, her name is Maricel and her company is Y&M LCC. You can find her on Facebook. She have more, a lot of stuff there. Her live live shows are there all the time. Before they have, she have up on TikTok as well, but TikTok somehow, you know, banned accounts. So keep in, uh, sometimes she changed accounts in TikTok because she had to keep making one because she kept get banned. But anyway, m just more on go to her Facebook. She's there and you'll see more of her items there. Um, she posted a lot. Um, I got it from there. And she's very, very uh, good seller, um, trustworthy. And if you if you request for authentication, she can make, uh, she can, you know, give an authentication certificate as well. Of course, you have to add more money um, because, you know, you have to pay for authentication. Um, that's all, always all the time. Anyway, guys, but 100% very, very trustworthy worthy seller i highly recommend her if you want to buy uh certain stuffs so anyway guys how many times i've worn this i've worn this um uh i don't know three times already um I, I wear more mostly the rolex one i only wear this if um i wear my chanel purse um or certain outfit i have that suits this you know so but anyway um i love this watch guys of course you when you wear this you you feel good because it's it's Chanel and the iconic it's vintage and it's very you know if you know you know you know it, people who are collectors and people who loves Chanel when they see it they know and of course if you are a collector you'll know if it's fake or not just by just looking at it it's it's just it's just a standard in in fashion industry and collectors it, you'll know if you see a bag and somebody's using a bag just looking at it from afar, you'll know if it's fake or not. It's it's automatic, just like that. Anyway, guys, do I love this watch? Definitely. I love this watch even if I don't wear this as much as the Rolex. But I love this watch. And I'm not gonna... It's, it's part of my collection. And I'm not gonna resell this at all because I love this one. Um, Very cute. Very fancy. Very elegant. Very old money. Very vintage. It's... It's speaking of, of everything that you, you want for a certain watch, especially if you are a collector. Anyway, guys, so that's my review for this watch. Chanel watch, the very first Chanel watch, the premier original watch. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. And I hope you liked the review and uh, you learned something. Like me, again, I always search whenever I get new stops, especially luxury brand, luxury item. I always research about it because I need I want to know and I want to share it with you guys. All right. So anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe till our next discussion. Have a great day.